Hey everyone, it's Andreas. Many of you struggle to find the right headphones, especially with the right microphone for Smule. What you end up with is bad sound quality in your recordings. To avoid that from happening to you, I created this video. I structured the video into three parts. Part 1 being things to look for in Smule headphones. Part 2 being typically used headphones on Smule. And part 3, best affordable headphones. And at the end of the video, I give you an important tip that you should definitely remember when you buy your headphones. Okay, let's start with part one, things to look for in headphones. Comfort. Don't be fooled and think that comfort isn't important when singing on Smule. You might spend more than enough time on Smule without even noticing. And all of a sudden your ears start hurting because your earbuds don't really fit well your ears. Or your on-ear headphones put too much pressure on your ears and they start glowing up and hurt when you touch them. Ouch. It is really important to ascertain the right comfort level of your headphones before you buy them. You should ensure that the equipment fits perfectly in your ears. And this is to assure that it doesn't slip out of your ears in the middle of the recording. A stable headphone is an essential requirement for a hassle-free karaoke. Sound quality. The Smule headphone should have advanced hardware, which will provide you with the best sound quality compared to other local equipment. It should also have the quality to filter out all the unwanted noises and glitches, so that you can only hear fine quality music. The best headphones also help you keep track of the beats you're singing to. It thereby eliminates the risk of your voice going off tune. Latter point obviously counts for the more expensive models, in most cases. But there are still some nice affordable options to get headphones with a good sound quality. Recording quality. This is probably the most difficult attribute to find in headphones, unless you know it from experience. It goes without saying that Smule headphones should have a good recording quality, without which it would simply be a waste of money. Your headphones should have a good efficient microphone that will record your voice without compromising on its authentic quality and sound. Make sure that the microphone is reliable enough, since it is an essential part to sing on an app. Okay, let's go on with our next point typically used headphones on Smule. This is something many people ask for all the time. And I'm gonna go straight to the point. Apple headphones. More specifically, the ones with a wire and integrated mic. Maybe the normal ones or the Apple Lightning headphones. These are proven to work the most reliable on Smule. Most long-time Smule users use these all the time and always have a good sound quality, so much that it almost sounds like a professional recording. They also work pretty well with Android. Some people use the big on-ear headphones with an integrated mic. I think the brand Beats works really well, which is also from Apple, or Bose. Correct me if I'm saying it wrong. Apparently they work really well with it. Then there's of course all kinds of headphones being used on Smule, but most of them don't reach the same sound quality. Okay, and finally we're part three, the best affordable headphones. Haha, <laughs> I know you didn't want to miss out on this part. Who doesn't want affordable headphones that also provide the right sound quality? I know, shocker. As I said before, Apple headphones work really well. You get them for a price of about $30. That is pretty affordable compared to other good headphones. They're not the most comfortable ones, but they do a great job for a long period of time. I personally give them a 7 out of 10 for sound quality, more or less an 8 out of 10 for recording quality, and a 6 out of 10 for comfort. There are cheaper versions of Apple headphones too. I've heard some of them work well and some others don't, so the risk is up to you if you want to take it when purchasing them. Okay, a small disclaimer for the upcoming headphones that I'm going to mention. I haven't tried them personally, so don't take my word for it, but from the kind of technology that they offer, I'm pretty confident they could work well. I've at least tried similar ones. On the webpage headphonesaddict.com, I found some good noise cancelling headphones. There's iTechnic IKBH002. These are affordable, comfortable, and you can even use them for Bluetooth as well, but I'd recommend to use them in the wired version. The best thing about them, they cost about $50. And then there's these Beats on-ear headphones. They are the most expensive headphones that I'm suggesting here, but Beats are known to work pretty well with Smule. And this one here is one of the most affordable versions. They are compatible with Android as well, but don't have noise cancelling. Which is really not necessary unless you're outside or in a louder environment. Okay, coming now to the important tip you should definitely know before purchasing headphones. Don't use Bluetooth headphones. For Smew. The reason is simple. Even though technology has advanced and we get a decent sound out of Bluetooth headphones nowadays, as long as these Bluetooth headphones don't have a mic right next to your mouth, the recording will always sound far away or tinny. I've heard it on Smule before. So if the mic is right next to your ears and not even in front or next to your mouth, don't even bother. So now you got your headphones, but how are you supposed to sound good with those headphones? Make sure to find the answers on how to sound better in the upper video and check the bottom one for better use of effects on Smule. Thanks for watching and see you real soon.